our latest artist spotlight features gorgeous, outstanding portrait work. Ron Malone takes inspiration from people he meets and tells stories using vibrant watercolor painting. In addition to working on portraits for several hours a day, he's recently opened a new gallery in Lakeland called The Mark, which is aimed at helping artists to bring out their inner creativity. Here's a look at the artwork of Ron Malone. Uh, my name is Ron Malone. I live in Bartow, Florida. Uh, I'm an artist and I do watercolor painting. It's challenging, but it offers the most opportunity to express different techniques. Uh, there's just so many things you can learn that watercolor uh, media brings to you and use. And I like the vibrant colors of watercolor. I try to paint at least four to six hours a day. And uh, sometimes that's in the morning, afternoon, and if it's the end of the day, I'll, I'll start late at night, just because I enjoy it. Most of my subjects come from people I see. Um, I've gone to the park a couple times and just observed people watching, asked them if I could uh, take their photograph. So most of it is just people I meet. I've painted pictures of dogs. My wife is a dog lover, so I've painted a portrait of her and the dog. So it's usually uh, people I like or people I find interesting. I've done a few uh, flowers or a landscape, things like that, but it just doesn't, it doesn't tell a story. I kind of like to tell a story or have a, something I'm trying to express. Uh, if there's no story behind it, I don't get into the painting. I just don't. When I'm painting, I really get into the person uh, who I'm painting. I imagine I make up stories in my mind about what they're doing and what they're thinking. But it's kind of fun to, to see uh, you look and study their eyes, their expression. And what I'm thinking is, can I capture that? You can make one little mistake on a painting and it will totally change the expression. Just a very small, just the angle of an eye uh, can change the expression. So I'm always thinking uh, about you know, the subject matter. Uh, and that's a lot of fun. I'm thinking about, also about, <laughs> I make notes while I'm painting. I will think of things that, like I'm out of yellow, uh, lemon yellow. That was yesterday, I made a little note during it. I, if I don't do it now, I'll forget. I need to get some lemon yellow. The most difficult part, I would say on, uh, is stopping. My problem is I don't know when to stop when the painting is done. I'll, I'll still work on it and fiddle with it. So what happens is I overpaint and ruin the painting because I could have stopped four hours ago, it'd been perfect. To overcome that problem, uh, what I do is I put a little timer next to me. It's my uh, iPhone, I just set it for an hour. When it goes off, I stop, I get up and move back from the painting at least 10 to 15 feet and just look at it. Uh, it's totally changed my process and I think I have addressed uh, at least a lot of that problem because uh, what I decide is, you know what? I, I was gonna work on the face longer. It's done, you know, it's done, it's fine. Leave it alone. I, I find myself talking to myself, Ron, leave it alone. So it helps. There's all kinds of people, different expressions, different economies, different uh, backgrounds. But uh, one thing that's for sure, they're all interesting. And they all bring their own type of beauty. Uh, I have had people say, Wow, that's the, your colors are bright, and it just so, uh, it just says so much about the person. They're colorful as well. You're, you're getting it, you're close. And there are those who um, look at it and say, you know, uh, look at the technique. Uh, that's good. Uh, if they learn something, if they're a watercolor painter and they learn a technique or say, how did you do that? I'm glad to share it with them. Uh, so there's all the aspects of, uh, of what they might learn or what they might gain from it. Uh, and once in a while I'll uh, go to a show where there's a painting in there and I'll just, no one knows who, especially the ones that are out of state, they don't know who I am. And I'll just act like I'm looking at the painting next to it and just see what they say about it. And you really get some interesting um, comments that I get a big kick out of. Um, we opened the mark. First off, MARC stands for Mar <laughs> Meraki Artist Resource Center. 
Uh, Meraki is a Greek word, Greek word uh, meaning uh, bringing out the inner self, the inner creative self, who you are inside, the very being of who you are. Sharon and I uh, together were business partners who started this, and the idea, what we want to do is, is help artists to bring out their inner self, to be creative. Uh, there's plenty of places that are providing uh, workshops, training, all kinds of things. But what we're interested in is um, customizing the approach, helping them, uh, and uh, making it fun. Uh, if it's not fun, I don't think you should be doing it. Uh, we focus not only on the workshops, the training, we also focus on just getting to know people, also networking, getting artists to talk to other artists. Um, because I think we all have that creativity, that uh, inner ability to create, and creativity comes out in a lot of different ways. The best example I get, I get the kick out of when someone looks at it, and they'll say, well, I can't even draw a stick figure. And uh, what I say, I can't either. Uh, I don't really like stick figures. Uh, but what the point is trying to make is they can't draw, or can't do anything, uh, which is not true. What they can't do is something is in the back of their heads of what they should be doing. They could think it should look a certain way. It doesn't. It doesn't have to. It's going to be their way. Uh, some may say it looks childish, and uh, uh, right now I can take you to a lot of uh, famous art that, uh, with famous artists that looks very childish, but it's just awesome. It came from it came with, from within. So I think in expressing yourself, um, there's a benefit that it feels good. I think it brings a balance to you. Uh, I think it's also comforting and relaxing. I've never seen uh, art grow so much in a community as much as I've seen here over the last five years. I think people come, uh, when they first get here, they think there isn't any, they check it out and they find out, wow. Uh, we have the, the Lakeland Art Guild, probably one of the, the top organizations in the area for developing local artists made of volunteers. Uh, you have the uh, Polk Museum, now connected to the college, uh, has given it kind of a boost because of that connection. Polk County offers so much for a developing artist, is what I like. If you're developing, there's just so many resources and classes that you could take advantage of uh, that would really uh, be fun and bring out the inner uh, uh, Meraki. Yeah, I think that's what I, I think would happen. The Meraki Artist Resource Center is located at 2607 Orleans Avenue in Lakeland. For more information on classes or to get in touch with Ron, visit www.the-mark.com.